Well, we are seeing positive COVID numbers across North Carolina in yeah. terms of positive news here. Right. This is really, really good news. State health officials are reporting fewer than 400 new positive cases today. This is the lowest single day total that we've had since last summer. It also helps drop our average to 1,356 cases per day over the past week. Hospitalizations continue to remain stable as well. Right now, there are 854 people being treated across the state in hospitals for COVID. All right, if you've already made it two years without catching COVID-19, what are the chances that you will never, ever get it? CBS 17's, uh, 17's Jody McCreary is digging deeper into why doctors say those odds are slim, but not impossible. Here in North Carolina, nearly 3 million people have tested positive for COVID, but that still leaves 7 million who haven't. And now that we're getting back to normal, doctors say it's getting harder to avoid it forever. I think we're moving to a place uh, in the future where running away from the virus is just going to become harder and harder and less tenable. Especially with fewer people doing things like wearing masks. I would not be surprised if any day I you know, as mask mandates are lifted or we all just let our guard down, um, you might get the infection. The CDC estimates 43% of Americans have been infected, leaving 57% who haven't. But UNC Dr. David Wall isn't sure those numbers are right. I have no idea. And I don't think that there's any really good way to determine it. He says up to 80% of people who donated to blood banks had antibodies that indicate they'd been infected. That may not be a representative population. So, but there is a possibility that there's a bunch of us, myself hopefully included, I think, who've not been infected. When the Omicron surge was at its worst, some experts wondered if it was inevitable that everyone would catch it. Duke Dr. Becky Smith won't go quite that far. I think it would be unlikely that you will make it forever uh, and not get COVID. Those doctors agree the further in the future you catch it, the better off you'll be. You can click on this story online to find out why. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.